I enjoy being late to the party. I don't get many new releases because I like the hype to kind of go away so I can revisit it when I can afford it. I don't like to pay retail. Either they send it to me or I get it for at least $5 off. I need to feel like I'm getting a little bit of a deal. And this is one of my favorite houses in the designer space. So let's check out a fragrance that's been out for a little bit by the house of E. Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lome, Le Parfum. <laughs> Listen, one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, C3U to the U to the B to the A. Here it is, unbox, well, not box, but, you know, in the box, ready to go, La Nuit de Lome, Yves Saint Laurent, Le Parfum. Uh, I think I've seen a video or two of this whenever this came out. I don't remember anything, I haven't looked up any notes of the fragrance, but I'm essentially picturing in my head maybe a stronger concentration of La Nuit de Lome. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna check it out and see what's what. I hope it's not the same exact scent profile, I hope there's some like differentiating factors in this fragrance, because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a great scent profile by a great designer house that produces a mass appeal sexiness, but you know, just separates it from the other ones. So here's the bottle, gorgeous, all blacked out. Very dope, let's get out a test strip and let's give it what it is. Then we'll go over some notes and see what's what. Let's see if it's any different. La Nuit de Lome, Le Parfum. Oh shit, just sprayed my fucking face. Okay. Oh, well that's not the same. At all. Huh, got a little bit of goosebumps action there, buddy. This is not the same profile. There is La Nuit de Lome profile in here, but it's, I'm getting some, am I tripping? Hold on, like barbershop it's like lavender, soapy, foamy. Oh, I'm kind of confused. It's La Nuit de Lome like barbershop edition. Don't get me wrong, I really like it. I'm just confused. Okay, you get the Lano with the Lone DNA off the hand, but there's lavenderish, barbershop, foamy, fougerish kind of vibe here that I'm smelling, and I don't know if I'm tripping because I haven't looked up anything yet on this shit. I'm so confused. I'm confused in like the best way. This is really nice. You still get that sweetness. You get the cardamom, but it's not explosive. Like. I gotta look up these notes. It's like peppery. Huh. All right, so the notes are pepper, anise, bergamot, fruity notes, lavender, French labdanum, vanilla, patchouli, and vetiver. Well, this is mighty nice. I really enjoy the fact that it deviates from the original La Nuit de Lome DNA into something completely different. This is a breast of fresh air there, buddy. I kinda like this. Although to be honest with you, on that like spray and a half, two sprays, it's very light. It doesn't smell like a powerhouse at all. Ooh, I like this. Very fucking nice. Wow. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see what we're doing in the air here. Yeah. You get the anise vibe a little bit, but it's more peppery, lavender, barbershop foam, cardamom. Lanoui de Lone meets a nice oldish fougere kind of barbershoppy fragrance. It's like Mason Martin Mart Jella and Lanoui de Lone had like a side chick baby. This is very nice, but it's not a performance beast. I could tell you that right off a rip. This is gonna be some average sillage bubble. It doesn't seem like it has that same monstrous like sex appeal like Lanoui de Lone, the original joint does, but it's very, very, very nice. I like it. It's absolutely a ball sprayer on a scale of one to 10. I would rate this shit like a 8.6. I like this joint a lot. It's definitely a ball sprayer. Wow, this is very refreshing. I'm so happy. I mean, this is great. Mm. Wow. I mean, I'm judging performance literally by these couple of sprays, but it's not living in this cloud and it's not choking me out at all. So I feel like it might just kind of be low key flexy. But hey, Lanoui de Lome Le Parfum, let me know what you guys think, because 
This was a pleasant, pleasant surprise. So I'm not mad at this shit. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. I'm happy. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? One of those gonna pass the test. Cubano. With a fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>